Hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to more Let's Play Hitman 2 Silent Assassin for the PlayStation 2. And I'm Josh17. We are on the mission, the motorcade interception. And the reason you see the next mission after that, Tunnel Rat, is because I did do a video on motorcade interception and decided, oh, it's such a short mission. I'm going to continue with the next mission, and I died in the next mission, so it was pretty much a fail. Plus, this mission, I did horribly wrong, so I'm going to try to do it right again. I'm not very good at it. I might get Silent Assassin, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll try it. The Motorcade Interception. Let's go. Here's the briefing with Diana. 47, your target is a local Khan, Abdul Bismillah Malik. You won't have any trouble recognizing him. His picture is on posters all over the city. He's currently trying to sell the cargo to the UN, which is here to check out the goods later today. The Khan is returning to his palace together with a contingency of UN troops. They will arrive from the east along the road. Eliminate him before he reaches his palace, but without harming any of the UN soldiers. It will be detrimental to business, 47, so keep it clean. The villagers are a bit edgy if they catch a foreigner carrying big guns around within their perimeter. So watch your move. Okay. So our mission is find your contact, which is right here. The hitman sign. Get the weapons. It's just one weapon. Kill the local con. We have to kill him. He will be riding in a limo. And do not kill any UN troops that are guarding him. Because that will be mission fail, and we don't need to kill anybody that doesn't need to be killed. Alright. You gotta pick our weapon loadout. What the heck? Oh, because I already played this mission, I can pick up my weapon loadout. Okay, guys. Uh, anesthetic. Kitchen knife. Uh, combat knife. Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm still not going to carry any pistols unless I pick up some. That's going to be it. I definitely want anesthetic. But I'm not sure if I'm going to actually kill anybody else in this mission. I know I can't kill you and troops, but I can kill the, uh, other guys. Okay. Okay, I think the screen's going to be okay. You can actually run around. And the enemy does not get alerted. I do not know why. Like, they, they, they don't even care. But the mission before, they did care. So, I don't know. And once again, we're in a place that looks like Agrabah. Like, off Aladdin. That's what I love about these missions. Like, they kind of give me nostalgia. Like, I never played this mission, like, when I was younger. But, I'll tell you what. It reminds me a lot of Aladdin. Okay, I'll turn it down a little bit. Because it's usually pretty loud. So you're gonna have to wait till these guards pass. These two, they don't even care if you go right up on them. They really don't care. They don't care at all. See, they're just like, what? I believe they're carrying around uh, AKs. I thought it was SMG SD6, but I believe it is uh, AKs. Okay. I might actually choke out this guard because he ends up waking up later in the mission, and I don't know if that matters. So you want to get your fiber wire out. I hope this does not mess up. Okay, just keep on sneaking behind him and choke him. Yes, we choked him. Okay, now we got to drag his body behind this place. Behind this place. Yeah, that's a very de descriptive. Drag. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Before anybody sees you, put your fiber wire out. I don't know if carrying a weapon um, slows you down when you're dragging uh, an enemy. Or dragging anybody, really. You can be dragging your grandma for all I know. Okay. Tell her, you gotta take your meds, grandma. I'm gonna have to drag you to the medicine cabinet. Okay, this is where you actually get your weapons. I'm gonna drag him. Since I killed him, he's not gonna wake up. I don't think there's gonna be any problem then. I'm gonna just gonna take his clothes. See, the thing is, if you hold a big weapon with, while wearing the uh, enemy's clothes, it's okay. But if you're just the innocent person carrying a gun, that is where it gets suspicious. So here's a cutscene. Marhaba, Sadiqi. Mr. Poti Zadinka. I am very honored. I have your supplies. It is very powerful. 
the colonel would hit him. That's very dangerous. The gun is returning soon. Maybe you can stop him. Maybe before you get him in. May Allah help and protect you, Mr. 47. Thank you. Better get out of the way. This will get messy. I love that part. He don't say it with an exclamation, like with emphasis, because it shows an exclamation point. But he says, get out of the way. This will get messy. Okay, now we have the big, big M195. I think that's what it's called. I don't think that's M line. M195, it's a 50 cal and it's high vehicle rifle. So it's not mounted on a vehicle. You just carry it around, but it's still pretty big. I got a total of eight, eight shots. No. Shots left five, clips left three. I think this means a total of 20. So I'm going to let this guard pass by because he gets suspicious. Yeah, they like to walk back here. I don't know why. Ah, why is he coming back here? Sometimes, yeah, they walk back here. One time I drugged a guard while he was walking back here. I don't know why they like to walk back here. So I got to let all these guys pass through because if you get real close with this... Uh, to the uh, enemy with uh, this gun, they get very suspicious. And if you drop it on the ground, they're like, what? They'll go walk up to it and be like, what, huh? So we gotta wait for them to pass by. Yeah, main th one thing I've definitely learned through this game is patience. I may have not gotten better at it, but I'm sure I've learned it. I try to get better at it, but let's go over here. Hopefully no guards get alerted. Okay, just walk along. You should be fine. Like, it says you don't need to be within five feet of them or they'll get alerted. So let's keep going. This one guy is following me, though. Okay, do not drop it either because they'll start looking at it and be like, huh? And then you pretty much won't be able to get it because they'll be right there the whole time. They keep turning around, so you pretty much can't drug them. I'm going to go up here. And this is going to be my sniping point. Since you got this outfit, it shouldn't be a problem. In a sense, like that guy right there, he's a civilian. They will tell on you in the blink of an eye. They are title tells big time. So be careful. I'm going to go up here. It should not be a problem. I don't see anybody around. I'm going to hide right here for a sec. Okay, it's just a civilian right there. So we're going to go up here and wait for the limo to come. This is the best sniping uh, place. Pretty much the best place to snipe. The only disadvantage is it's far away from your X-Point. It's all the way down on that wall. So let's see. The motorcade is approaching the city. Now this mission reminds me a lot of JFK's assassination. Okay, there is the limo. That's a Jeep, obviously. That's a limo. You have to shoot Abdul Malik in the back seat in the middle because I believe there is someone. Oh, what? Dang it. They're already shooting at me. I want to save it in a sec. They're already shooting at me. Who's shooting at me? Someone told on me, didn't they? I will probably drop my gun after I shoot because I've already taken the gun outside this mission. So I'm going to save just in case I miss. Overwrite tone rat. Yep. Even though <laughs> I got a, I wouldn't say game over, but you die. I died in that mission. Yeah. So I want to retry this. Pretty much the shot is the shot you're going to take on Abdul Malik. It is a little difficult, but if you're lined up just right, and this is the perfect spot. Pretty much this is the most revealing spot too, so that's not a good thing. But if I went all the way over there, it would have been an even harder shot. But it, but the good thing is you're really close to the exit, so you got to pick your poison really. you got to pick if you want a gr an easy shot, but with a hard exit, you got to do it right here. But if you want to hard shot with an easy exit it's over on top of the palace um we'll pass it once we um we'll get near it once we exit yeah so they see they already see me they, they see me aiming see when you have your gun like out not holstered that's more revealing and the enemy does not like that oh gosh here it goes everybody's shooting at me now watch what happens when i snipe abdul malik if I survive. Yes. Drop the gun. Dro okay, I dropped the gun. No one's on this side. Hopefully no one sees me. 
and suspects that I'm the bad guy. So I'm just going to walk out. Now walk it out. Now walk it out. Drop down here. I should be all right. I should be. What? Why are they still shooting at me? Ah, dang it. If I survive, I do not know how. Go, 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 go. This is not how I wanted to do it, guys. And by the way, the UN officers do have M4s. So if you pick up that gun, it's a very good pickup. But I don't know how you get it because you can't kill them. But we're here. We exited. We did it. Oh, we did it on expert. Yeah. Actually, that took longer because I saved it. But shots fired one. I had that one shot. And it does bounce up and down. But once that Jeep's out of the way and that guy in the middle of the Jeep, he's like setting up really high pretty much. As long as you don't shoot him and shoot right in the middle of the limo in the back seat, you should get him. There is another guy sitting beside him. So if you shoot him at an angle over by the palace, it probably will not work. That's not how I want to do it, guys. But I'll tell you what. I, there's some of these missions I can't figure out. Even Anathema, the first actual mission after the tutorial, I cannot figure it out. I doubt I will ever get um, Silent Assassin on that. Because that mission is that difficult for me. Some other missions, I make it look easy. So... It just depends, so I apologize that I'm not perfect at this game, no one's perfect, but we will continue. Save progress, yes. And I'll probably do another video, Motorcade Interception. Yes, indeed. Now the next mission, guys. If you thought this mission was hard, you don't even know what hard it is. The next mission is pretty difficult. I don't know how many attempts I'll, it'll take for me. I, I doubt I'll get my first try. I'll, I'll probably have to do a couple of retakes on the next video because Tunnel Rat, I, I'm going to say it's probably the top three hardest ones up there with Anathema. Um, I want to go ahead and do it, but we're already 12 minutes in. So, YouTubers, I apologize for a short video, but some of these missions are really short. So, I'm not really sorry. <laughs> okay. In the next part, guys, we will do Tunnel Rat. See ya.